The House of Mercy Homeless Shelter has a new plan to help people struggling with addiction. News 10 NBC's Eric Hedekosh shows us what's different with this plan. Executive director here says in the past few years, they've really prioritized workforce development, improving how they respond to mental health emergencies. Lawmakers secured $265,000 in federal money for the shelter to create peer advocates. This reflects the makeup of the community, and director Dr. Tammy Butler says that's where the need is. We all know that mental health and substance abuse disorder challenges impact our community. However, BIPOC individuals often face greater challenges due to systematic barriers. Flora Jones just completed the program. I'm a product of rape. My mother was sexually traumatized. Out of her trauma came me. This consistent reminder of what had happened to her, looking her in her face every day as a child, I would grow up not knowing why some days my mom was not able to get out of bed. Then one day I'm working with my own peer. She, does, she goes, do you want to come with, work with me as a peer? The idea is people who lived through their own struggles understand what others are going through and can help them deal with it. This is about saving lives with an innovative approach. Because guess what? I used to be in the hole and I know a safe way out. You may recall two years ago, a deadly stabbing attack here at the House of Mercy. And following that day of violence, a lot of changes were made, including new security. Will there be crisis training? Crisis training? Like a mental health emergency. Yep, so in the peer world, there is always uh, ongoing annual training that is required in order to keep up the certification. So this is a New York State certification. Tammy Butler says 25 people are on a wait list right now for this peer training. Reporting in Rochester, Eric Hedekoff, News 10 NBC.